So it's 2021 and one of the main objectives this year for a lot of people is to pay off debt, especially credit card debt. But the problem is most people don't have one credit card. If you had one credit card, then this would be easier because you would start working towards paying that debt. But if you are the average person with four or more credit cards, then you will have debt on all these credit cards and the terms and interest will be different. And so the main question is always, which debt do I choose to pay off first? So in this video, I'll be talking about how you can approach this and become debt free by the end of the year, if not before, and then also how to remain debt free. Now, before I talk about how you can pull this off, a very quick reminder here, if you're new to the channel and you're watching one of my videos or seeing me for the very first time, my name is Ian and I post videos here on YouTube every single day on topics relating to making money and personal finance. So if you like this video or you like these kinds of videos, give this video a thumbs up. I'll really appreciate it. And also consider subscribing to this channel and turning on all the notifications. And that way you'll be able to get the updates every day when I post a new video here. Now, the first thing you need to do to get rid of this credit card debt is to list the debt's highest APR to lowest APR. And remember, all your credit cards are going to have different interest rates. If you don't know the interest rates on your credit cards, then call your credit card company and say, hey, I have this credit card and I'd like to find out what my APR is and they'll tell you and then you can list all the credit cards you have but in the order of highest APR first and this doesn't matter if you have a card with a lower APR that has a higher balance. Now we'll talk about that soon but for now let's make this list of all the credit cards you have with debt and in the order of highest to lowest APR. This is actually a popular debt payoff strategy and this is called the debt avalanche method and I have a full video explaining this and other videos with other methods of paying off debt if you want to learn more. But by using the avalanche method here, you save money on interest payments by paying off the debt with the highest APR first. So if you have four credit cards like the average person does, then you want to make the minimum payments on three and then the one with the highest APR is the one that you will pay as much as you possibly can until that debt is removed. Then you move on to the second highest APR and you work your way down the list like that. Also, most people don't know this, but you can actually call your credit card company or bank and ask them to lower your credit card interest rate. This isn't a guarantee, but sometimes they'll do it if you've been a long member or if you have a good relationship. So it doesn't hurt to try this, especially if you're in a lot of debt. Now, another important step here is to find out how long this debt is going to take you or how long it's going to take for you to pay this off. And you want to know this because if you're just putting your money in the debt with no end goal in mind, then after a month or two, it may feel like you're not making any progress. So think about this, right? You can take the amount of money you have to put towards the debt every week and then divide that amount by the uh, amount of debt you have. And that will give you a fairly accurate estimate of how long this will take you. So if you owe $12,000 on a credit card and you can pay $300 on it every week, then in a month you'll be paying $1,200. So then $1,200 divided or $12,000 divided by $1,200 is about 10. So at this pace, it will take you roughly 10 months to get rid of that debt. Now this way you're paying as much as you can and you can have a realistic or realistic ideas of when the debt will go away. And this way you don't just pay your money on the debt and then get demotivated when you're at the third month and you realize that you still have a balance of $9,400. Now, the next question is, what if you don't have enough income or what if you really can't afford to pay off all the debt? And I would tell you to go and get an extra job, but sometimes you get yourself into debt and it seems like you can't get out. And if this is you and you have thousands in debt and you want to start paying it off, but you can't really see how you could manage to pay it off by the end of 2021, then I would recommend a balance transfer card. And this is only if you're really good with your finances. So be sure to get on a budget and start tracking your spending and start directing all your money that isn't for living expenses to paying off your debt. Now the balance transfer card can be a very useful tool here. And the good news is that some balance transfer cards will allow you to transfer a balance from multiple credit cards to benefit from a 0% APR period that can go as high as 18 months in some cases. So if everything else fails and you can't get yourself out of the debt or you won't be able to pay more than the minimums, 
then you can transfer your balances to a new credit card and this way you get at least 12 months interest free to pay the balance. Now, if you're in a lot of debt, you may not be able to pay it off in 12 months, but this will actually help you to pay down more on the debt. And once you get around to about 11 months before that 0% APR period ends, you can do a second balance transfer and go for another 12 months interest free. Now, I wouldn't recommend this though, unless you are really, really good with your money and you're really trying to get rid of the debt because if you exceed the 0% APR period, some cards will then charge you interest from the date you transfer the balance. And usually balance transfer credit cards come with an even higher APR than the card you have the debt on now. So if you mess this up, you will ultimately get yourself into even more debt. So this is really a last resort. So I'm going to be leaving a link to the debt avalanche video here and some other links to other videos that you may find helpful, but that's how you get rid of credit card debt. Now I want to talk about preventing credit card debt or once you've become debt free, how to prevent yourself from ever going four cards into debt again. And this is actually very simple and it won't really cost you anything. And the best way to stay out of debt is to create a budget. And if you want to, you can go to mint.com and create an account for free and use it to track your spending. You don't really have to change anything right now. Just simply track your spending for a week or for 30 days and then go back at the end of the month and look at where you spent your money in 30 days. This is always the best place to start because you don't have to change anything with your spending. If after 30 days you look at your spending and you're fine with all you spent on, then you can keep doing it. But if you're the average person, then you'll definitely see some areas where you could cut back on spending and then some other areas where you could increase your spending to better benefit your financial life. So for instance, if after 30 days you realize that you spent $350 on purchasing bottled water, then hopefully you'll realize that this isn't normal and you should instead click on the link that I've left below in the description and get a reusable water bottle for $15 instead. And then you'll get to easily save about $300 more per month. You can then also realize that your contributions to Acorns from rounded up purchases from your debit card is only $10 per week. And now you realize that if you keep investing only $10 per week, you won't make a lot of money from investing. So now you can also click the link below to Webull where you can invest that $300 you just saved and get two free stocks while you're at it. So the point is this, right? By simply tracking your expenses for a month, you can see what you spend most of your money on and then you can decide if you want to continue spending most of your money on those things or if you want to spend it elsewhere. In this example, you could choose to spend less on water and move more of that money to spending it on your investments. So without making this video 25 minutes long, this is how you get rid of credit card debt this year and also how you can stay away from ever getting back into debt. So I hope this information helps you. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you really like the content. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell. And that way you'll be able to get notified every day when I post new videos here. Remember to check all the links down below for free and helpful stuff. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow.